Hello, fourth graders, and welcome back. I am Mrs. Lamondo here to talk to you all about another Greek myth today, and it is the myth of Arachne. Now, Arachne might be part of a scientific word that you've heard of. Let's find out what it has to do with. Arachne was a beautiful young maid and a skilled weaver and spinner. Her weaving was very delicate and intricate. Many often said there was no spinner or weaver that was more gifted than Arachne. In fact, people traveled great distances to see Arachne's beautiful work and watch her skillful fingers work the loom. Although Arachne was very skilled, she was also very conceited. She constantly boasted of her weaving talents. Oh, the great Athena must have trained you, the women in the village would comment. Arachne would hear would not hear of such. Athena didn't teach me anything. Athena is no match for my skill. Athena may be the goddess of wisdom and crafts, but I'm the one with the true talent. News traveled quickly, and it was not long before Athena was made aware of Arachne's boastful claims. Athena was disappointed that a girl with such talents had let it go straight to her head. Athena decided to give Arachne an opportunity to make amends and apologize for her rude comments. Athena disguised herself as an elderly woman and paid a visit to Arachne. Arachne, I have heard that you are very skilled at the loom, but I do not think you should ever compare yourself with the great Athena. I think it would be wise for you to take back your comments and ask Athena for forgiveness. The old woman said as she watched Arachne work. Please don't bother me with such comments. My talents far surpass those of Athena. I find it quite offensive that you would even compare my work to hers. At that point, Athena became so enraged that with a blink of an eye, she was transformed back into the beautiful and powerful goddess, Athena. Arachne stood unimpressed by the presence of Athena while onlookers watched in fear, awaiting Athena's reaction. You think you're better at the loom? We'll see about that. Let the competition begin, stated Athena. Athena and Arachne decided to compete in a weaving contest. The two set up their looms and began weaving their tapestries while a crowd gathered to watch their fingers move fluidly across the colorful threads. Athena wo wove glorious pictures of the gods and goddesses of Mount Olympus, performing kind deeds for people. They were the most beautiful images the mere mortals had ever seen. The crowd gasped in awe at the sight of the work produced by Athena. Arachne's weaving was also gorgeous and perfectly constructed. Her weaving also depicted the gods and goddesses, but they were depicted unpleasantly. They looked angry and foolish. Athena was outraged when she saw how Arachne had depicted the gods. She was even more infuriated when she realized that her own skill was only marginally better than Arachne's abilities. You are too boastful and rude, Arachne. How dare you make fun of the gods? Athena, beside herself, ripped Arachne's weaving to shreds. Then she grabbed Arachne by the arm. Arachne immediately felt guilt for the way she had behaved. At that moment, Arachne magically began to change. Arachne began to shrink until her body was a small black speck. She sprouted eight legs and grew black hair. Arachne became a tiny spider. She scurried to the highest place she could find and began weaving her web. Now you will be able to weave all day long, Athena said proudly. But from now on, no one will care about your weavings or your talents. So Arachne was turned into a spider. So when we think about the theme of this story, right? Arachne was really kind of boastful. We might say she's arrogant. That means she's kind of full of herself. So when we think about the theme, possibly a theme could be the fact that you can be proud of yourself, but maybe don't be so full of yourself, right? Also see um, the gifts and talents that other people have. And perhaps a lesson that could be learned is be proud of your abilities, 
but not boastful. That means you shouldn't brag or be conceited or full of yourself. Be proud, but don't be too full of yourself. All right, fourth graders, next time we are together, we will see the media version of Arachne. Until then, I'll see you then. Bye.